Hi, my name is Olivia Nunn, and I'm a retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel, and I served for 20 years. So I served my first 10 years in the United States Army as a chemical officer, technically a CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear officer. Fancy word of saying that I help the commander find, detect, and figure out how to either fight or go around those type of incidents on the battlefield. And then the last 10 years, I served as a public affairs officer. And during my time in the United States Army, I served three combat tours to Iraq. I served during 2003 to 2004, which was the initial invasion, 2006 to 2008, which was the surge period, and then 2009 to 2010, which was the time in which we transitioned the position of authority from the United States Army to the Iraqi Army being in the lead. Man, my most memorable time in service, there's so many. How do you narrow that down? I would have to say, honestly, is being given the opportunity to command headquarters and headquarters troop, first brigade, first combat team of an organization that historically was given to a male. And I was the first female to do so. And specifically, I was given that organization and I commanded that in combat. And why not only breaking glass ceilings was that memorable, but really why I cherish that is there were specific men in that organization that didn't want me to have that command position. And they were upset with it. But by the time I finished with that command, those same men turned around and said, ma'am, we doubted you, but you proved us wrong. You proved that women, and in fact, can be in the military, can lead us, and I'd go back to hell with you. And we're so glad that you are our commander. And to me, that's exactly why I was in the military. I have such a large network just based on the work that I've done, especially the last part of my job in the United States Army, which was U.S. Army Soldier for Life. And I built a large network because I helped transition service members out. And in that network, um, a lot of my friends told me, hey, Olivia, with all the work that you do as a pa in pageantry and with podcasting and model work and photography and things like that, you should check out this organization. That was about, about a year ago. And so I started following Pen Up for Vets, and sure enough, I started following Pen Up for Vets, and I just loved what the organization is all about. And I saw Gina post something about, hey, we're doing a model casting call for our next year's uh, calendar, and so I applied for it. And really, for me, it, it's, it's a merge of a couple things. I love how this organization gives back to the military community, and that is so important for me. I am a mental health advocate, and I have a story that's behind that. And anytime an organization gives back to the military community, that's near and dear to my heart. And I'm involved with an organization called Veteran Success Resource Group, and our tagline is, we take care of our own. And for me, Pen Up for Vets does exactly that. Gina is all about taking care of our own. The military community and she does it in a way by doing photography and I love photography and I love modeling and how cool is it to do something that's very nostalgic very beautiful and giving back and it's just a blend of so many different things that I love doing and so it just made sense to why not give it a try apply for it Gina reached back out and I had a great conversation with her and here I am I get to be part of something that's beautiful, that's very classic, and now I get to be a pinup 